Hi everyone, my name is Lin Lin Zhao. I'm assistant professor at the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry of Central Michigan University. I'd like to spend a few minutes explaining to you about our research in my laboratory. Our research focuses on a field called genomic instability. This is an important field because many scientific evidence have suggested there's a link between human genome instability and human diseases, such as some of the most devastating human diseases, such as cancer and Alzheimer's disease. Our goal in our laboratory is to understand the causes of genomic instability. We hope that with our efforts and many others in the field, we can come up with better cures for human diseases and develop innovative diagnostic strategies and prevention tools. So what is human genome and genomic instability? Human genome basically is a set of biomolecules often known as DNA, short for deoxyribonucleic acids. DNA molecules has four building blocks, often abbreviated as A, T, G, and C. The sequence of how these four alphabets are arranged and the modification of these molecules often determines the genetic traits transform one cell to another and one generation to the next. The genetic information can be used to translate to billions of biomolecules in our body, which can help accomplish important life processes. Genomic instability refers to the change to our human genome. Now this change can happen to the sequence those four letters arranged and can also happen to the structure of those four building blocks. Some changes can be beneficial from an evolution perspective, but many can be disastrous since they, the, the change can alter the com or completely destroy the genetic information important for life process. For example, a change to in a few genetic code can render a biomolecule to lose its function and fails to digest food or stimulating nutrients. Nowadays, scientists have linked many of these human genetic changes to diseases such as cancer. So what causes genomic instability? So this is a question we're interested in answering. There are many threats to our genome actually on a daily basis. Some of the threats come from uh, outside the body in a form of reactive chemicals, uh, such as environmental pollutants and radiation, and some come from within our body when normal physiological process blunder. Altogether, there are actually tens of thousands of genetic wounds being delivered on a daily basis, forming so-called DNA damage or DNA lesions. Now, DNA damage can have many bad uh, biological consequences. For example, DNA damage can block the essential cellular process uh, called the DNA copying process, which is important for genetic information flow from one cell to another. DNA damage can also cause errors, also known as mutations, which may lead to human diseases. Fortunately, our body is actually equipped with very complicated defense system. One of the defense mechanisms is to use special enzymes to overcome those damaged DNA roadblocks during the DNA copying process again, which is essential for genetic information flow from one cell to another, from one generation to the next. This is a process known as translegion DNA synthesis. For example, one of these special uh, translegion synthesis enzyme is known to be particularly good at rescuing DNA damage caused by UV radiation in a way to protect us from skin cancer. On the flip side, this rescue process is not always accurate. In fact, it's a major source of DNA damage-induced mutation. To show you how important this protective mechanism is, genetic defects in one of those special DNA copying enzymes I just mentioned is actually known to lead to human disease called xenoderma pigmentosum. These patients are often extremely sensitive to sunlight because their lack of the capability to protect us from DNA damage from UV radiation. This is a particularly good example to show us how important to keep our genetic molecules intact, as well as how crucial those gatekeeping biomolecules are. Our laboratory focuses on understanding several of these special DNA copying enzymes by illuminating their uh, enzyme mechanisms, their structure, as well as determine the accuracy of the DNA copying process they are responsible for. We use multidisciplinary approaches, including chemistry, biochemistry, and molecular biology to understand how DNA damage rescue process operate at the molecular level. 
We hope with, with our efforts and many others in the field, we can paint a better picture of how genomic instability is caused, and eventually we can develop better cure and innovative diagnostics and preventive strategies for human diseases.